So, yeah, um... A new Switch has been announced. Uh, so basically, the situation with this is I originally opened up Twitter and I saw a post from Joe Merrick showing some side-by-side -side comparisons of uh, the new and improved Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, which actually looks pretty sick. Uh, it looks a lot different, a lot different. Um, the colours are not as bright and in your face as it was uh, beforehand, which I like. Beforehand, obviously, it was like... Uh, Pokemon uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, which don't get me wrong, look really nice, but I just think the colours were too bright and too in your face, you know? But I, I like how they've kind of downgraded it, like kind of lowered the exposure, lowered the brightness of it, um, and I think it looks a lot more cleaner uh, compared to that. Um, don't get me wrong, this st that still looks really nice, but they definitely did a good job at improving it. And it just shows you that there's a lot of room to grow. One of the other things that I noticed is if you look at the bag just here, um, it kind of looks all flat and, uh, you know, it just literally just looks like a picture has been slapped on it. Uh, but then you look at the improved one, you can kind of see the bubble on the bag just here. So like where it kind of sticks out a little bit, which I know it's a little little kind of thing that they've added, but it just shows you they're improving their game on the daily, really. Uh, but yeah, so anyway, I saw this picture and I was thinking, oh, yeah, you know, new, you know, more, more Pokemon stuff to look at. It definitely looks different. Um, same with the hat as well. You can see the kind of the... Uh, the lighting on the hat looks a lot different than it does here. Here it just kind of looks all plasticky and kind of really cheaply done. But now, like, the Pokeball looks like it's got the kind of bobbles in it as well. This just looks flat and round, whereas this looks more kind of sleek looking. It's got the better lighting on it. Same with the, with, um, I've forgotten his name. I think it's isn't it Brandon or Brendan or something like that. Uh, probably completely wrong. That's a completely different character. But, uh, yeah, it looks a lot better. So, anyway, I saw these pictures, and then I was looking at it, and I was like, why does this switch look different? Because I'm looking here and I'm thinking the gap between the edge of the screen to the edge of the the edge of the the actual like glassy bit on the front is a lot smaller. So I was like, the hell is this? Is that Switch Pro confirmed or something? And then I was like, okay, anyway. And I thought nothing of it. And then a bit later on, I saw um, as you can see, I, I bought another energy drink called Beyond, which I'm going to be trying soon. Uh, then I went up a little bit on Twitter, like kind of refreshed my Twitter, and then um, Nintendo UK just comes out with this, you know, oh, Switch OLED model, and I was like, okay, now you got my attention, this is pretty sick. Uh, so looking at it, just from what, what they posted, kind of gives me the vibe of like what the 3DS was, so originally the Nintendo 3DS came out, uh, a little bit later on, uh, they brought out the Nintendo 2DS, which is obviously a slightly different modified design. Um, but kind of the same thing. It's just a cheaper model that doesn't have like some of the bonus features you get with the 3DS, like the 3D feature. Uh, but all the insides were pretty much exactly the same. Uh, so the Switch is pretty much the same thing here. And then also they made the 3DS XL, which obviously is a bigger screen, but all the internals are pretty much the same thing. And then obviously they decided to add the extra thing of um, the uh, 2DS XL, which something does give me this idea that they're going to do a similar thing with the Switch, where it's going to have a slightly bigger screen. Uh, the internals will be pretty much the same, but slightly bigger screen for the Switch Lite side of things. So like, it'd be called like the Switch Lite OLED model or something, I don't know. Um, but the internals will pretty much be uh, exactly the same. So I'm kind of excited for this. And one thing that got me a little bit excited was the dock. Now, I know this is kind of random, but the fact that it looks a lot more sleek looking, like if you look at the... I don't know if I'll be able to get it out for you because it's kind of all plugged in. Um, yeah, the wires are quite short. So, uh, but no, basically the normal switch, you can see it in this picture here where it's kind of more squared and more kind of sharp on the edges. Whereas this one is white for stars. That's the first thing that sticks out to me. And I, I, I don't know why, but white consoles do make me a little bit excited. I, I do like a, I do like a, like a white console. Um, yeah, pretty much. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I do like a white console up when the PS5 come out. I thought they was going to go with their kind of generic uh, black console. I thought the PS4, so the PS4 was black, PS3 was black, uh, PS2 was black. Like the default, that's the default colour uh, for a console. But uh, they kind of uh, decided to do a different route and made it a, a white PS5. So they've done a similar thing here with the Switch where they made the dock white. Uh, but you can also see the sides kind of look more sleek looking um, and it just looks like it's premium it looks premium made even if it's the same exactly the same thing as the original dock like it doesn't bother me I just like the fact that it's white and it looks nice 
Um, so yeah, I'm glad they brought out a new console. Uh, then they brought out a trailer for it as well, which I'm gonna which I'm gonna have a look at now because I haven't actually seen this uh, this trailer. I've seen some pictures from it, but I haven't seen it exactly. So um, if we get into it now, um, and I kind of have a little look, um, I won't play the whole thing just for copyright reasons. But uh, yeah. Uh, and by the way, if you're watching this on YouTube after the fact, make sure you check out my Trovo. It's in the description below. Trovo is a streaming platform similar to Twitch, uh, which I've started to stream on recently, and we're starting to grow a decent community over it. About 12 followers from filming this, which is amazing. I'm very happy with that. Um, after my after what one stream, so I'm really happy with that. Um, but yeah, definitely come over and say hi. I'm going to be doing a lot more shiny hunting streams, a lot more challenges over here on Trovo. Um, but don't worry if you're if you're uh, if 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 you're on YouTube and you don't really want to sign up to Trovo, that's fine. Uh, if you check out my second channel, you'll be able to see all the vods uh, from my pre previous streams and uh, some clips and stuff from the streams as well. Uh, and if you're on the main channel, uh, don't worry. I'm not gonna forget about streaming on there i'll just stream on there for mainstream events but check out my uh update my uh, summer update video which explains more on what i'm going to do with my youtube channel and stuff like that so yeah check that out uh when you got a chance um so let's have a little look let's have a little look that's uh samus there i think that was, was that samus i don't know i don't play those games so i wouldn't have a clue oh yeah it is there you go yeah look like just straight off the bat it, it looks like it's a pretty much the exact same size as the Nintendo Switch, if I pull it out for you now. Um, I mean, you can see I've got Pokemon on it at the minute. It pretty much looks like it's exactly the same size as this in terms of like, you know, fitting it in your hand, playing it in your hand. Um, but I think what they've mainly done is if you look closer, you can kind of see the, the, the kind of chin that it's got, like the, the border around it. Uh, is a lot thinner, which obviously means the screen is bigger. Uh, same with televisions, re really. Um, like, say, if you've got a 32 inch telly of a, a big chin, if you like, a big border, um, the telly looks bigger, but then you get one with a thin border and it looks smaller. So um, it's a similar sort of thing to, uh, to te televisions. Um, but no, I'll tell you what, it's looking really good. It's looking really, really good. Um, I'm excited for it. I'm 100% going to, uh, I'm 100% going to pre order this. I'm 100% pre-ordering this. 7-inch OLED screen. Now, I think the Nintendo Switch. I don't actually know how big the Switch screen is. I'm going to have a quick look. Uh, how big is the Nintendo Switch screen? Uh, 6.2 inches. It's about 0.8 inches bigger, which is... It doesn't sound like a lot, but it is quite a lot when you consider... Um, it's, a, it's a handheld console as well as a, a console you play at home. Oh, no, it said it there. Why am I looking it up? It's... <laughs> It's right there. It literally says 6.2 inch screen. What is wrong with me? Um, but no, it's looking really good. Oh, you got Legend of Zelda there. I don't know if any, any of the internals are going to be different. There's been nothing on that yet. Um, I hope it is, but realistically, I don't think anything is going to change actually in the console itself. Uh, might have. I know it has more internal memory. I think uh, the regular Switch has 32 gigabytes, and this one has 64, I believe it is. It'll tell me later anyway. But Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, I'm 100% going to be playing that soon. Uh, so look out for that. I'm very excited for that. I'll be playing that on Trovo as well. Um, and if you, like I said, if you miss it, I'll probably put some videos out on uh, the second channel, uh, Nature Games. So, uh, no, I'll be playing Breath of the Wild, definitely. What's going on here? What's going on? He's my boy. He's my boy! <laughs> It's my boy. I can't wait to play Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl. And you heard it here first on Trovo. I'm going to be doing a sleep lock on uh, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl. So uh, look out for that. Uh, it would be Brilliant Diamond, of course, because I've already got Pearl. So I'm going to get Brilliant Diamond. I'm going to be doing a sleep lock. So you heard it here first on Trovo. But I will be doing, uh, I will be kind of doing like an announcement thing uh, on my other social media platforms soon. Um wide adjustable stand now i appreciate that i'm not gonna lie nintendo listened to the well, world i won't say they listened to me but i've been complaining about this for a while because i, I usually i use my switch quite a lot in handheld mode uh and sometimes in tabletop mode without it being in the dock and the thing i hate about this switch this is and this is the only nitpick i have of the switch i think it's such a revolutionary console if i can actually get it open there we go this little flimsy bendy piece of plastic they put at the back of it and it's like i don't even know it's just see what i mean it comes off it's, it's not even like sealed properly 
Um, and I've looked after my Switch, so it can't even be that I've broken it. It just, it just, you know what I mean? It's just a little flimsy bit of plastic with a very thin piece of metal that holds it in place. It's just so cheap, honestly. Considering how much you pay for a Nintendo Switch, that, it's literally balancing on it. You, you stand in that on your table like that, it's going to be wobbling everywhere. So I really appreciate that they've made a, a thing that goes across the entire back of the console, because that's going to hold it up a lot better in, in uh, tabletop mode. So I do appreciate that, Nintendo. You've done a great job with that. And I'm so glad it, sh it shows that you're listening to us, because we have asked for I know a lot of people have asked for this. Uh, so I'm really happy with that. The adjustable sand is going to be helpful. Because I know, I know a lot of people who play it in handheld, in uh, tabletop mode, so uh, it's really good. Compatibility with the old Joy-Cons, mixed feelings. You know, I love the Joy-Cons, but uh, Joy-Con drift is a major problem, as you as you know. Everyone's, everyone gets Joy-Con drift. I think that's um, that Bowser's Fury game. Um, I'll skip for it a little bit here. Yeah, you can kind of see with a more close-up thing here, like... The, the dock is just more, it's just more sleek looking. It's not sharp edges like the Switch. It's kind of like a long and then kind of rounded at the edge, which I really like. I know that's a little feature that no one really gives a toss about, but I kind of believe in presentation as well when it comes to uh, consoles, because it's got to look nice on your desk, hasn't it? It's got to look nice. So I don't, they've done a great job with that. Um, wired LAN port, which I believe the Switch dock has. It should do. Um, but I'll be using that. I'll be using that 100%. Because, oh my god, Dynamax Adventures. The amount of times I've disconnected in the Dynamax Adventure for losing my internet connection because the wireless feature is so bad. It's so bad. It's horrible. Uh, but it look, I'm not even joking. This this looks fantastic. Um, Splatoon kind of gone off of that a little bit, not going to lie. Uh, let's go through a little bit. Yeah, it's just showing off the console here. Obviously, you've got that, that exercise... You'll never catch me, never see me using that, honestly. It's alright for some people, I suppose, but it looks alright, you know. It looks amazing. Available October 8th, so it's coming out very soon. Very sleek looking design, I'm very happy with that. Um, the actual Switch itself, I'm not actually too bothered about the bigger screen, but the fact that it's called OLED model means it's got an OLED screen, and if it hasn't, then that's, well false advertisement but that's better I, I like that i do like oled screens um like on phones so I, I think that's really cool uh i'm quite excited to see what this is like but i'm definitely i'm i'm definitely pre-ordering myself one i'm definitely pre-ordering myself one 100 percent pre-ordering myself one just for the fact that that will look amazing on my desk i just love the white in in uh, in switches i don't I like or any games console really um I, I just love it when i love that they've made it noticeably different to the switch i like that i really appreciate that and the amount of people that are complaining about it, saying it's not a switch pro it ain't got anything better in it i the only reason why they're butthurt is because of these supposed leakers that are out there saying about a switch pro and it's just like that's not anyone's fault you know what i mean you can't be attacking nintendo because of that you know it was the exact same thing with the 3ds line like i said earlier you had the 3ds you had the uh, 2ds and then you had the 3ds xl it's exactly the same situation here you got the nintendo switch then they brought out the switch Lite, which is a cheaper version then they brought out a slightly more expensive version which is the switch well i'll call it the switch oled for now because i don't actually know if it's got a name because like the switch Lite is called the switch Lite. 3ds is called 3ds xl you know what i mean but this is just switch oled model like in a way need to rethink the design i still think they should have called it the super switch but that's just me um but no i'm not complaining i think it looks pretty sick i think it looks pretty sick and i, and I genuinely appreciate it from nintendo um i actually put out a post earlier today um if anyone saw it where I said, I'm severely upset with how toxic the Nintendo community is being right now. The new Switch isn't a pro. You're only butthurt because of all these poxy leakers saying it's coming and getting your hopes up. The Switch, in my opinion, is revolutionary. If you don't like it, don't buy it. Which, which, if, if I'm honest, in my opinion, I, I have a good point there. Like, if you don't like it, then just don't buy it. You know what I mean? It's the same thing with the Wii U. A lot of people didn't buy it because it was shit. So that's why they didn't buy it, you know? Uh, the same thing with the 3DS, the 2DS, and the 3DS XL. The internals have not changed at all, really, between those three. Released in the same order as the Switch, Switch Lite, and Switch OLED. 
it's uh, a bigger screen and a slightly refined design. Personally, I dig it and I'm pre-ordering, which I am. The moment it's, it's available for pre-order, I think it's available for pre-order, but I'm going to get it on finance because, you know, this, this poor guy can't buy it outright. But uh, I'm going to probably get it on finance myself. Uh, but I'm excited to get it because it looks amazing. It looks really good. I think I love the design on it, even, even though the design is not much different to the regular Switch. It, you know what I mean? It's a, it's a new Switch, so it doesn't hurt. And then what I'm going to do is the current switch that I've got is just going to be used as a casual switch, which I'll play like out and about, or like I'm going to get a, a television to go behind me. So if you can see my setup behind me, it's going to go above that. I'm going to get a, a TV uh, later this year, and that's just going to be kind of my, my chill out sort of thing. So because I play my switch a lot in my own free time, so like you know I'm laying in bed and I'm just like, oh you know what, fuck it, I fancy doing a random Dynamax adventure. I ain't got to play in handheld no more. I could lay on my bed and play Dynamax adventures or whatever really. So, um, no, I'm excited for it. I just thought I'd uh, talk about that because a lot of people have asked me um, to cover it, especially when it came out, uh, especially when it was announced yesterday. Uh, I wanted to do I wanted to do something on it anyway uh, and just kind of tell you my opinions on it. And personally, I've got no complaints. I think it's, um, it's different. As I said, the design's nice. I do like the refined design. I don't think the Joy-Cons will be any different. I don't think they'll have like a Joy-Con 2.0 or whatever. Um, but no, I think the bigger screen, OLED screen and all that is pretty cool. Uh, let me just read up on the chat as well, because I haven't actually uh, read through chat. I haven't got many people messaging at the minute, actually. Um, actually, no one's messaged. <laughs> Nobody loves me. Uh, but yeah, um, yeah, definitely come and check out my Trovo uh, if you're watching this on YouTube. And I think with that, everyone, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on the Switch OLED and if you're planning on getting it yourself. Um, I don't know if they'll have different range of colours like the Switch does, because the Switch obviously has the red and blue, it has the grey, uh, and then they have like all the limited edition ones. Uh, I wonder if they can do something with Pokemon with it as well, because I'd love to see like um, a Pokemon Diamond and Pearl version of the Switch OLED, because if they do that, take all my money. Have it all. Have it all. You know what I mean? Have, have all my money. Have, have it all. I don't care, Nintendo. All my money will be yours. I know it's not much, but it'll be yours. Uh, <laughs> So, um, yeah, I think with that, everyone, uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to leave it there. Uh, so with that, I've been Nate, you've been great, and I'll see you in the next one.